The old school, the classics, retro, the 70s, the sounds and styles of two decades ago are back and being embraced by a new generation. Now one of the originators from that era is back as well, Mantis. Who are these guys? Where did they come from? Where did they go? They were abducted by aliens! Hi, this is Brooklyn's own Joe Causey, and I can't tell you how many times people have asked me those three questions. Just watch this video, and in five short minutes, hey, forget about it. Billy Amendola, drums, percussion, vocals. Frank DiCrescenzo, lead vocals, percussion, harmonica. John Kaz, bass guitar, vocals. And Jimmy Mayer, guitar, keyboards, and vocals. All four members of Mantis hail from the same neighborhood as the famous dance club 2001 Odyssey, the home of Saturday Night Fever. The band honed their musical skills from the streets of Brooklyn, combining their early rock influences with the R&B sounds of Motown. It was this unique blend of musical styles that helped Mantis fashion their original sound. Their first record, released in Canada in July of 1978, titled Turn Around, Boogie Down, proved to be an indication of things to come. In 1979, a New York City radio station, WKTU, started to play a disco dance format. Dance It Freestyle became requested so often that it held the number two spot on WKTU for eight consecutive weeks. Soon WBLS, also in New York City, and numerous other radio stations in major cities across the United States followed suit. That same year, Mantis recorded their first album, Midnight Energy, and another 12-inch single was released. Rocket to the Top went on to become a favorite with radio, club, and DJs. It hit the top 10 in Billboard, Cashbox, and Record World's dance charts. Mantis released its second album, Mantis, in 1980. The single Boogie to the Bop went straight to the top of the national and international dance charts. The group promoted the album by doing print and radio interviews as well as performing on the hottest TV dance shows throughout Canada, Europe and the United States. Through the years, Billy, Jimmy, Kaz and Deke have remained friends. They would see each other on occasion, but never had the opportunity to play music together. Recently, however, all of that has changed. The four members met and agreed to work together again. Original engineer and dear friend Butch Jones invited the group back into the studio to explore and co-produce their new tunes. The beat is back, can't stop, and tonight are just three new songs of what promises to be their hottest release yet. And as luck would have it, while Mantis was busy recording new material, New York City was once again listening to a new dance radio station, the new 103.5 KTU. In addition, the group's first and second albums are now released on CD on the Canadian Unidisc label. With Talent Consultants International, it looks like Mantis is going to have some help getting people back into the clubs and out on the dance floor after all. TCI is booking all live engagements and the band is performing old and new original material as well as many disco classics by such artists as Casey and the Sunshine Band, The Tramps and many, many more.
Their new recordings are a dedication to everyone from then till now who remembers a group called Mantis. A shout out to a new audience. Mantis, the beat is back.